I shall advise the squeamish to stay well away. I'm composing a brief video here today for 1989's Tetsuo, The Iron Man, directed by Shinya Sukamoto. One of my most beloved films of all time, the construction of this magnificent work is bewildering to me. The VFX display is one of the greatest in recorded history, the stop motion effects, the props, the art design, the sound editing, this is one of the great achievements in human expression. Often called one of the most weird and difficult to understand films one can watch, and that is very true. One might need a blurb to understand exactly what the hell is going on during this film. It can be hallucinatory, scattered, and wildly unpredictable. It doesn't always give one much time to process what is happening, why, or how. As a pure experience, Tetsuo the Iron Man is glorious. Not at all for the squeamish, as I had said, yet if one is willing to sit through it, they would be blessed. In this film's plot, a metal fetishist is seemingly killed by a reckless driver who then buries the injured body in the forest, then proceeding to make love with his excited girlfriend. Later on, the driver, on his way to work, waiting at a train station, is attacked by a mutating woman, seemingly under the control of the fetishist. The driver survives, hiding out in his unit, later accompanied by his girlfriend. He then attempts, later on again, to murder her via an abnormal mechanical extension of his traditional genitalia, now a monstrous drill, and what would become this film's most iconic scene. What the hell is wrong with you? How do you enjoy a film such as this, you sick weirdo? I wonder that myself sometimes. I just enjoy simulations of the horrific. There's so much actual horror in the world, this is a bizarre way of managing psychologically the inevitable existence of real life horror, the composition of artistic simulations, or subtilization specifically of it. I don't enjoy all examples of simulated snuff, I'm not a fan of that 2000s torture porn thing, Eli Roth and James Wan, too edgy for me. And I was never sold on Haneke's funny games, and I do like Haneke, but this is a bourgeois out of touch crippled shit I've ever seen. Tetsuo the Iron Man is plausibly downstream, heavily inspired by David Lynch's Eraserhead, as well as by the works of David Cronenberg. Tetsuo the Iron Man, I would give an enormous compliment. For as much as I revere Eraserhead, I think I would ultimately prefer Tetsuo the Iron Man. It's just so overwhelming on the senses. One thing which is interesting to note about Tetsuo the Iron Man, I think thematically, is how it prophesizes or teases at a world enveloped by metal and steel. Steelpunk? In the 1980s, this is such a fascinating vision. It demonstrates a pre-digital conception of a post-apocalyptic nightmarish future. Now one's ideas of being enveloped by technology are related to cyberspace in some way or form, yet Sukamoto's vision is of industry and artificiality deposing the organic and succeeding it as the dominant force on Earth, and perhaps as the prime element in the entire universe's atomic structures. It's a fascinating idea, and perhaps a vestige of the past, although it's still useful as a metaphor, the artificial swallowing, consuming, enveloping the traditionally organic, or perhaps rather, more precisely, merging, combining with it. Tetsuo the Iron Man is one of the finest works of human art realized during the 20th century, if solely for the experience of witnessing its phenomenal production imagination. 